Two men have been charged with the armed robbery by detectives after they held up the brother of England international and Manchester United star Marcus Rashford at gunpoint. The pair of suspects were forced to face court following a lengthy three-year investigation into the incident that took place at a CAF where Dane Rashford, 29, was having breakfast with fellow sports agent Tyler Alexander-Arnold, brother of Liverpool defender Trent. On January 12, 2019, a gang of men boasting a 12-bore shotgun, machete and baseball bat entered the Little Rock restaurant in Mossside, Manchester, demanding valuables. In the process, they stole Dane Rashford's watch, who is Marcus Rashford's brother, and also they stole Tyler Alexander-Arnold, who's also Trent Alexander-Arnold's brother's wallet, alongside a number of different valuable items belonging to three other people in attendance. They also stole the keys to Alexander Arnold's white Range Rover and used the car as a getaway vehicle to flee from the scene. It's said that the brothers of the football stars Rashford and Alexander Arnold have met up to travel down to Brighton together to watch Liverpool take on the Seagulls at the Amex later that night, but ended up being treated in hospital for undisclosed injuries. The three friends that were also with the duo were also left blooded with injuries, but were not deemed to be serious body authorities. The Range Rover was eventually discovered abandoned in a nearby suburb field. Romario Harma 20 of Old Trafford and Talikio Lemonius 26 of Wivenshaw faced five charges of robbery, possessing a double barreled 12 bore shotgun, unlawful possession of a baseball bat, and having a machete in a public place at Manchester Magistrates Court. Even though they're not footballers themselves, people would think they've automatically got money and obviously they did, they had expensive watches on them. I don't know if they were specifically targeted through their relationship to the footballers or they just spotted Rolexes and certain watches they could possibly have had on, also a nice car and just target them through that. I'm not too sure, it doesn't say in any of the articles that I've read. During the investigation process, six people aged between 17 and 58 were arrested for questioning. Superintendent Mark Dexter of Greater Manchester Police said at the time, thankfully, no one was seriously injured, but the victims have been left understandably shaken following this incident. Looks like this case has been solved from a few years back now. It's been ongoing for a while. But that is it for this video, guys. Leave a like and, of course, subscribe with the notification bell. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Peace out.